Hey, hey, hey. Hello again. Hey, Ashley. Hey there, darling. This is going to be an exciting time. I cannot wait for the activation importation. I am still very heavy and drunk in the Holy Spirit. Catherine, Wendy, yay, yay, yay. How awesome, you guys. Y'all are so lovely. Thank y'all for signing back on. Oh, I, did I just see Prophet David? Nope. He may be on here, but I didn't. Try to send him an invite. It's send him an invite, you guys. Thank y'all for signing back on. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh, yay! I sent you an invite. Prophet David, I sent you an invite. Accept the invite. Find the invite. It should be in your notifications. Or send me a... Uh, Click it to where it says you want to be brought on to the live video, and I'll add you right on. Isn't it just wild? It's like... Okay, Facebook. Okay. I sent the invite. Did you find the invite? I am just so excited. There's no point in sharing till we know we can get him on here and it lasts the feed, you know, and we can um, get him on here and everything. The invite should be in your notifications. But, y'all, that has happened to me before. When I've been a guest on other people's videos, they've, they're like, I sent the invite. And I'm like, okay, well, Facebook didn't give me one. <laughs> I know, it's just wild. Um, Prophet David, can you comment on the video? It's not even giving me an option to uh, search for him. Wow. Oh, big heart to you too. Big heart to you too. You guys, this is just an awesome time. Oh, it's buffering real bad. Oh, do y'all have heavy cloud coverage? Maybe y'all have got some kind of a, is it a storm system or something? Oh, somebody says, please pray for me while you wait. Well, you know what, Kurt? We're going to do that. Pray for you and Aaron right now. And you know what? Um, I don't know what y'all need prayer for. You might want to comment what you need prayer for. Maybe you can restart your router box unless you think it is. And look at that. It says, can your wife come on? It says, I'm going to try this. Um, it says I can bring her on camera. Maybe you can cut her on camera. We're going to try this. You know, you can look on her camera. Let's see what happens. I mean, it can't be any worse than the last time, I would assume. So we're saying angelic protection over this live stream. Angels, go and do what it is you do in the name of Jesus. It says it's adding her. Well, we'll see. We'll see. You have to accept it. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Okay. Woo! We got it. I, I, we got it now. That's much better. Oh no. Hey. Hi. Hello. Uh, it is you you hear? You. Oh Lord. Boy, the enemy don't want this to get out. <laughs> oh. Can you hear us? No. I can hear you some. I can hear you some. Okay. 
Give me one second. Okay. I'm going to cut on my speaker. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Hello? Sometimes if you... Hey, sometimes if you turn, turn the other device off... Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Um, <laughs> okay. Sometimes if you... That's a lot of static. If the device is off, it'll use less Wi-Fi. Like if you have your computer attached to your Wi-Fi, okay. sometimes you can... Cut it off and it'll cause uh, it's the phone fun. to do better. I don't know. <laughs> I know. Praise the Lord. Okay. Can, can you hear me now? A little bit. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to make sure I can be heard. A little bit. Is that a little better? Well, it's the Wi-Fi connection. It's not really the volume. You're cutting in and out. It, it, your picture's frozen. Cutting in oh. and out. Oh. Wow. Oftentimes, when that happens, you have wow. to have all your other devices uh, not using the Wi-Fi. Okay. We can. Well, I'm gonna shut down. I'm gonna go shut the other one down. Okay. Shut this down. Okay. I'm gonna shut down the other Wi-Fi. Sometimes it helps. I have noticed that. Not every time, but okay. sometimes it does. If it's heavy cloud coverage, sometimes it helps. Right. <laughs> but how are you doing? Um, three to five times a week, sometimes seven times a week. Okay, okay. Sometimes so, I do them in groups. I want to go shut down the Wi Fi. The wife wants to go shut down the Wi Fi. You can barely hear me. Um, I can hear you. It's just choppy. It's choppy. Like you need more bandwidth. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to get this squared away. I don't know. Charles said it. Oh, my God. He says cut off the other bandwidth like other users on the same router. If anything other than her phone is using that router, turn that device off or, or make the Wi-Fi on that particular device be off for the moment. Okay, let me... This happened to me one time. Okay. I had it guests did. from out of town, and they were using the router really? box, and I didn't realize it was going to pull that much bandwidth and so I had to ask them nicely I said uh I'm so sorry could y'all please get off the uh router <laughs> the, the password that I gave y'all <laughs> that's better yeah that's better hey woohoo God amen okay. amen I could be heard right <laughs> amen <laughs> amen so amen, amen. God bless you, woman of God. Um, I, I just want to briefly share what the Lord has laid on my yes. heart. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, I, I've been in prayer the majority of today. And one of the things that the Lord showed me, he said this to me. He said, there is a cry of the Woo! spirit of God to the people of God. So the people of God can respond to the word of God. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So, so God is crying out for his people to begin to get in posture and position now. Amen. God is ready for his people to get in position and get ready to receive on a whole nother level. There is a whole nother Woo! dimension that God is taking his people now. And, and what God is doing now is he's unwrapping his people. Amen. Hallelujah. God is actually removing Come the on. stone. So now he can speak the things that's dead in their life. Amen. Amen? And, the, and, and let me share something what the Lord gave me in prayer today. Amen. He said these words to me. He said, we're in a significant season of acceleration for manifestation. Woo! Oh, I'm going to say that again. A significant season of acceleration 
for <laughs> manifestation, which yeah. means now, now this is what you guys understand, which requires the people not to be spectators, but participators. And that oh hallelujah, you gotta participate and not be Come a spectator. On. God telling me to tell me you gotta be participate in your deliverance. You gotta participate in your breakthrough. <laughs> you gotta participate in everything that God has for you. Woo! In other words, there are some things that God requires you yeah. to do now. In other words, you can't just wait on God. God waiting on Come you on. now. Part of the manifestation of what you're supposed to get is dependent upon you now. Yes. God is looking for you now to step up and realize not just who he is in you, but who you are in him. Oh, come on, people. This is the time oh. now that God is raising his people up to a whole nother level of hearing come his on. voice. Oh. Jesus said, Jesus said this, my sheep know my voice and the voice of strangers they won't oh. follow. My sheep know my voice. So if Jesus says you're his sheep and you know his voice, then you need to start saying, I'm your sheep and I know your right. voice. That's right. Okay? You got to start saying what he says to you. That's right. If God tells you you're healed, then your response is I'm healed. If God tells you you're delivered, you better say you're yes. delivered. That's right. You're going to have to now respond to God on a whole nother level. Come on. Why? Because listen, you can't go to the next level until you respond on the level for which he has placed you on. Hallelujah. And so I want to decree now. The Bible says you shall decree a thing and it shall be established. Which means <gasps> the power is in your <clears throat> mouth. The power for your breakthrough it's not just in God's mouth, it's Come in out. your mouth. Amen. So you determine, you determine what you get out of this night. You determine what you Whoa. get tonight. Wow. Whatever you want to manifest, you determine it. Amen. Amen. God, oh, hallelujah. I feel that anointing already. God is telling me to tell you that we are in a season of acceleration, which means that God is going to do some things speedily. He's accelerating some things. And now we have to now listen to this. We got to learn how to cooperate with the Holy Spirit. We got to learn how to cooperate with him. <laughs> don't sit back. Don't sit back and wait for everybody to get their miracle and you don't get yours. Don't wait for everybody to get their deliverance Woo! and you don't get yours. Don't sit back and wait for everybody to get there, listen, you got to jump in the water. You got to jump into the river. The, the river's been stirred up. Hey. The Bible says this. Listen, the Bible says, out Come. of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Come on. In other words, you got to stir it up. You got to stir up what's on the inside of you, people of God. God wants you now to stir it up. Stir up, stir it up. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. You got to begin to spend some quality time praying in, in your heavenly language. You got to pray in the spirit if you're going to walk in the spirit. Yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying, people of God? You're going to have to now spend some quality time with him. That's right. You're going to have to spend time in the faith Come of on. God. Amen. Amen. Because the power of God is in his presence. And let me tell you something else. Now, I want you to catch this because I'm finna say something. God told me to tell everyone that everything that you receive on this side of the cross is not by obligation, but by appreciation. Woo! I'm going to say it again. Everything that you get on this side of the cross, you receive is by not being a spectator. But it's about appreciating what he has done. Huh. And listen, that appreciation is connected to your worship. Woo! Oh, Woo! hallelujah. Listen, it's your worship. God is after worshipers. Yeah. Because listen, God is looking for some worshipers. That's right. 
He's not looking for church attenders. No. Hey, Come he's on. not looking for people that just want to attend church. Yeah. He's looking for people who are ready to step in and do what God called them to do. Y'all share Come this broadcast. Yes. I want to tell you. And what, listen, your I miracle. Tell you what Prophet David is walking in. Your miracle is in your Prophet mouth. David, if you don't recognize this anointing, right. the anointing that's on him right now, people, this is called the breaker anointing. I don't know if you can feel it. It's like a hammer coming in and doing this mm. number of atmosphere oh, right now. That means whatever's on your life right yeah. now as he's preaching, as he's speaking, it is breaking and cutting and shattering things off your life. If you know somebody who needs freedom tonight, share this yeah. with your messenger or on their page or just share it to your page or to your favorite group. Somebody is getting free tonight. Woo! Prophet. Yeah! Hey, come on. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Hey! Hey! Oh. Yeah, that shut up. Yeah, my yeah. 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 So listen, what, what I want people to understand, listen, your miracle is in your mouth. That's right. Did you hear what I said, people? Your miracle is in your mouth. The Bible says, let the redeemed of, of the, the Lord, Lord say so. so. Hallelujah, yeah. If you've been redeemed by his <laughs> blood, you better say so. Woo, if you've been delivered, you better say so. <laughs> if you've been healed, you better say so. Yes. Because listen, the manifestation of what you speak is going to now come to pass. Oh. oh, hallelujah. Oh, people of God. That's why the devil worked so hard yes. to get you to shut up. <laughs> he don't want you to say nothing. He don't want you to speak. Right. He's trying to get you to be quiet. But you got to say, no, I'm not going to shut up, devil. I'm going to speak what That's I'm right. hearing God Woo! say. That's right. Mm. I'm going to speak. Hey. Because the power of God is in what you speak now. Amen. You declare. You declare Woo. some things. Amen. The Bible says, behold, I give you power. Yes. <laughs> oh, I give you power <laughs> to tread upon serpents and scorpions over all the power of the enemy. <laughs> Don't sit back awake and say, well, I'm waiting on God. No, you ain't waiting on God. God waiting on you. That's you better right. bust the move. That's right. You better step in the water. You better start. You better start moving in what God called you to do. That's right. Cause right. listen, the cloud is moving. That's right. You can either move with God or move without Him. It's your Whoa. choice. Oh yeah, you know. Hey, hallelujah! Oh. Hallelujah! Hey. Glory to God. You can. Oh. Yeah, I'm standing with the cloud. <laughs> the cloud is moving. Are you gonna move with it? Oh. Hallelujah. Go ahead, woman of God. Woo. Well, when that cloud moves, Ooh. I'm going to move with that cloud. See, you get to a point where you're desperate. Yeah. You're desperate. You know, I'm desperate. I hope you're desperate on this thing. I feel yeah. that breaking anointing in the atmosphere. I feel that shattering of strongholds, and it's a destruction on the enemy, and your enemy is not lasting through the night. And that is a word for somebody right now. The That's right. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Your, your enemy shall not last through the night. Well, somebody on here, you felt like the enemy. Come on. By the throat. But I decree and declare right now that enemy shall not last. Yeah, through the yeah. Night. Huh? It shall not last. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hallelujah. Yeah. Woo, Jesus. Hallelujah. Legal. Listen, legal. listen. I declare, listen, there is an anointing coming upon you yes. to remove some burden and destroy some yokes. Yes. The, see what let me tell you what the anointing is. The anointing it's the burden removing, yes. yoke destroying yes. power of God. God. Yes, yes, yes. The anointing comes upon you to remove the burden and destroy the yoke. Come on. Mm. But let me tell you, what you have to do is you have to make an exchange. Mm. You're gonna have to exchange your yoke for his. Mm. Come on. He said his yoke is easy and Come his on. burden is light. <laughs> Woo. Glory. So listen. You better make an exchange. <laughs> you better put on his burden and give him yours. Uh, Hallelujah. And I declare that right now, that this anointing right now uh, is breaking uh, yokes uh, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. There are some people right now that you're being delivered from religion. Oh. And you're coming into relationship. Yeah, God. 
You're delivered from trying to do oh, things oh, your God. way, and now you're coming yes. into a relationship to do things God's way. That's right. Ooh. Oh, come on, people. You got to get ready to start doing. You got to do things God's way. That's right. Huh. You've been trying to do it your way come long on. enough. It didn't get you nowhere. But when you start doing it God's way, I'm telling you, you're going to see yeah. instant miracle, huh. breakthrough, supernatural provision. I'm telling you, God is ready to bring his huh. people under an open heaven. Mm -hmm. Oh, hallelujah. Are you ready to live under an open heaven? Oh. Woman of God, I'm ready to live under open heaven every day. Every day. Every day, you are supposed to be living under open heaven. I declare, listen, let me tell you what I'm seeing right now. I, I, I see, thank you, Holy Ghost, I see God opening some people's eyes. I see God is restoring some people's vision. Ooh, Not just your physical vision, but your spiritual vision. Yes. Some people have lost their Ooh. spiritual vision. Mm. Oh, yeah, Papa, and God wants you to see it. Listen, when you start seeing stuff in the spirit, you'll start seeing it in the natural. That's right. Oh, don't Ooh. miss that. When you begin to get a revelation of what God is doing in the realm of the spirit, you will see it in the natural. Amen. Cause, oh, because some of you are still, you're still in oh. waiting mode. And God says, no, it's time to come out of waiting mode. It's time to step into this thing all the way now. Yes. It's time for you now to receive on a whole nother level. That's right. There are some people, thank you, Holy Ghost, let me prophesy. Mm -hmm. There are some people, I hear the Lord saying, you've been given and given <laughs> and given. And the Lord is saying, now, it's time for uh, you to receive now. Amen. you got to learn how to receive from him. Yes. Oh, people of God, no get ready to receive. Get ready for yes. God to now rain down fresh revelation, yes, oh clarity, insight, yeah, illumination is coming to you. It's coming to you now. But listen, God is going to unveil you. Oh, people, yeah. don't Come miss this. Now. God's about to unveil you. Oh. You better get ready to see everything. Now, listen, don't miss this. Everything that God has done is already a finished thing. Come on now. Jesus said on the cross, it's Come finished. On. Don't miss this. Jesus said on the cross, it's finished. So you now got to step into the finished yes. work of yeah. Jesus Christ. Yes. Woo! You got to step into what's finished. And listen, when you step into what's finished, you can enjoy his rest. Mm. I'm, I'm enjoying God's rest because I know what he did is finished. Amen. I can't add to what he's done. That's right. He's already done. I just got to receive. Ah. I just got to lift my hand and say, Lord, I receive. Ah. Yeah. Come on. I want you to lift up your hands right now and I want you to receive right now. I Come receive, on. Lord. I say, Lord, I believe I receive. Ooh, Lord, I believe I, believe I, I receive yes. a fresh anointing. Yes. I believe I receive oh, my breakthrough. I yeah, receive I my anointing right now. Yes. I receive so a double portion. I declare and decree yeah, now that I'm God is God. giving you a Ooh, new vision yes. in the name of Jesus. I, I speak. And I declare now that every devil that has robbed you, that stole from you, in the name of Jesus, I declare the thief is found. The Bible says if the thief be found, he got to restore sevenfold. Yes. I declare he's giving back everything he stole from me. But listen, he's not going to give it back until you say so. That's right. Ha, come on now. You better say so. The Christ in you. The, the Christ in you. Christ. The hope of glory. Hiya. He's in you. Mm. So rise up. Take your authority. That's right. Ooh, listen. Yeah, you, listen. You have to stand. Don't miss Ooh. what I'm about to say. Ooh. You have to be standing in dominion so you can speak with authority. Mm. Oh, I'm going to say it again. God gave you dominion. Huh. He gave you what? Dominion so you could speak with authority. That's right. Hmm. And so when you start speaking, I'm telling you, there's some devils about to leave your Ooh. atmosphere. Ooh, come on. Hallelujah. The devil is about to leave your atmosphere. 
He's about to leave your home. Come he's on. about to leave. He's mm -hmm. about to leave your children alone. That's right. Mm. I declare now that everything that you've been struggling to get I accomplished know, but, 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 for the glory and yes. presence of God, yes. I declare now in the name of Jesus yes. that right now that you are receiving supernatural strength. Yes. You are receiving a yes. fresh anointing yes. in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, woman of God. You know I feel that anointing. Hey, the they felt sick. I want to tell you what that is. This is the breaker anointing. You're feeling it in the atmosphere. Not only is healing here, but deliverance yeah. is here. The breaker anointing. That girl now. Yeah, yeah. Above and above yeah. Deliverance. It goes into a massive yeah. wave. And if you're feeling nauseous right now, that just means the enemy in you is feeling sick and it is leaving. It is being expelled yes. out of yes. your body. Come out. <laughs> yes, Lord. Yes. 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 Listen. Oh, hallelujah. I'm telling you, listen. The Bible said, Jesus said, whom the Son make free is free indeed. It's free indeed. You are being liberated. You, listen, you're being liberated in your mind. Yeah. And I want you to declare now, you have the mind of Christ. Yes. Oh, you have the mind of Christ. Yes. It's time to start thinking on a whole nother level. The Bible says, let this mind yes. be in you, yes. which was also in Christ Jesus. Ooh, come on now. My, I, da, da, da. I have the mind of Christ. I have the mind of what Christ. What are you saying? What are you saying you have? Uh-huh. I say I'm delivered. What are you saying? Ah. Uh. I say whom the sun set free is free indeed. Listen, you either going to believe the word <laughs> or not. Uh. You either going to stand and declare it or if not. you're going to yeah. see it. Mm -hmm. If you're going to see it, you got to declare it. <laughs> because listen, you got to participate with what God is doing right now for you, people of God. I'm telling you, there is a mighty healing anointing, uh, and it's uh, not uh, just uh, physical. Uh, 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 there is some emotional healing. There yes, are some people uh, who've been dealing with, listen, yes. oppression. Yes, I take authority uh, over yes, the spirit of oppression. Yes, God. I take authority over right now. I see it on you some of you blood. women on here. I break it now blood. in the yeah, name of the Jesus. Blood. Be free. Be free. I break it. That spirit of oppression loosen you now. Loosen you now yes. in the name of Jesus. I yeah, yes, God. Trauma. Some of you have been dealing with trauma. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Right now, in the name of Jesus, you are being liberated. Yes. You're being set free right now. Ooh, right now. Right now. Not next week. Now. Now. Come on. Receive it. Lift up your hands and receive. Hey, level shut up. In the name of Jesus. Right now. The power of God. Yes. Listen. The power of God is present to heal you now. Yes. Emotionally, yes. physically, oh, financially. Some of you been stressed out financially, yes. and God says, I'm healing your finances. Uh -huh. Yes. Say hey, glory to God. Mm -hmm. There is there is anointing yes. that's propelling you forward. Uh -huh. Yes. Go ahead, woman of God. I sense I that anointing. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. I had a vision as you prayed. I saw yokes that had wrapped around somebody there was two different ones but this is for more than one person but i saw both of them simultaneously go pop pop right back to back and just there's freedom wow. freedom on this live wow. stream tonight as i told you your enemy yeah. shall not survive the night that is a word God said, yes. oh, hey. oh, oh, oh. Live hallelujah yeah. hallelujah but you are going to wake up refreshed and totally free, for your enemy shall not survive this night. Hallelujah. Yes. Ah, oh, glory. Yes, yes. There it is. There it is. Receive that. Receive that word. Listen, I break the spirit, that python spirit. Oh, mm. I break that python spirit. I that see been just mm -hmm. wrapping wrapping you up. But I declare now Loose. in the name yes. of Jesus ah. that python spirit that la, 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 is la, la, la. loosening yes. you right yes. now in the name of Jesus. Ooh, Jesus. And and what the what the enemy's trying to do, listen, don't miss this. He's trying to choke your faith out. Mm -hmm. Oh there. Why? <laughs> he's trying to he try he's attacking oh, yeah. your faith. And the reason why, because the Bible says faith. 
is the substance yeah. of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Mm -hmm. In other words, your faith is supposed to be producing substance and supposed to be producing evidence. But I declare now, in the name of Jesus, that that Python spirit that's attacking your faith, I, I don't know who this is for Jesse, mm -hmm. whoever Jesse is, right now in the name of Jesus, God is liberating you. Yes. Hold on. God is liberating you, Jesse. Come on. Jesse, God is liberating you. God is oh, taking you to a whole nother level, Woo! Jesse, in the name of Jesus. God is telling me to tell you that he is reigniting the fire in you. Yeah. The fire in you, Jesse, is being ignited by the power of God, yeah. the presence of God, yeah. the glory of God yeah. is going to visit you over the next three days. I'm telling you, in the next three days, there will be an impartation. There will be a visitation yes, oh God. Yes. of the Spirit of God. Oh, God. Receive it now in Jesus' name. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. 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 Violet, Hallelujah. Violet, Violet Pelham, I see you on here. And I see you sitting in a bed. It is a bed of water. That bed that you're sitting in, it's like you're laying in it. It's almost like a hot tub, but it's filled with a cool, refreshing water. Imagine if your body was overheated. You're in this bed. You're in this uh, refreshing, cool water, not cold. I mean, it's just the perfect temperature for whatever's going on with your body. And it's refreshing you. It's pulling out bitterness. It's uh, pulling out gall. It's actually uh, putting strength into you. It's putting a river into you. And you're yeah. able to give clean pure words to those around you. I'm seeing you literally just yeah. infusing others with what God's infusing you with. You're able to uh, almost like spew out on them, but instead of spewing bitterness as we speak, you're spewing purity. You're spewing holiness. You're yes, spewing um, the words and the yes, love Lord. and yes. the favor of God. It's like the encouragement yes. and the building up that you're doing for people. It's because you bask and rest in that bed of the Lord. You actually know how to rest yes. in the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Um, this is for, uh, there's a person on here. Your name is Angela. Mm. Your name is Angela. I I'm hearing the name Angela. Angela, let me tell you something. God is really about to push you forward into your ministry now. You've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And now God says, now I'm pushing you forward. All the roadblocks have been removed. Hear the word of the Lord. All the roadblocks have been removed. And the Lord told me to tell you that he's restoring your joy. He's restoring your joy, Angela. I'm telling you, the enemy's been attacking your joy and the joy of the Lord. I'm telling you, I see you getting stronger. I see you getting stronger as you begin to press in. God, Angela, listen. I cover you in the blood of Jesus. And I declare, Angela, the joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Keep pushing forward. This is your hour that your greatest breakthrough is now yes. not next week is now and to receive the spirit of god yes. on a whole nother level receive the presence of god yes. receive it right now in jesus name yes. 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 Glory. Yes. susan Hallelujah. susan mikhail yes, Lord. i see you on here susan mikhail but i see you birthing i see you birthing that thing you thought you had lost that baby you thought you had lost that and um, you are birthing more than one thing. I see you birthing three things simultaneously, but one thing in particular. And I really think you, I, it's almost like you know you're birthing one thing and these other two things. It's almost like I think one of them you even forgot about because it was a ways back. And the other one, um, you know, it, it, it's like you just, you just kind of are like, oh, I kind of know what you're talking about. Um, but I feel like yes, God Lord. is saying he had one of those things ruminating. This one you're birthing now. One was ruminating. One you thought, you know, it had been forgotten about and that maybe it had been miscarried. God says you're birthing triplets. You will birth the thing that he's put on the inside of you. Okay? I'm seeing education. I'm seeing marketplace ministry. And I'm also yes, seeing... Yes, yes. Yeah. How do I put that into a word? 
it's almost like business ministry. I don't even know what you would mm -hmm. call that. So let me know if that confirms with okay. you and kind of let us know what that is, because I think that's very interesting what God told me about you, but I don't know, you know, he hasn't shown me everything. And so what does that mean for you? What does it look like in the real life, in your real life? You know, I just know you're birthing triplets and it's on the move right now. Wow. I mean, it's, it's wow. like the baby's head drops and the, um, the woman goes, Oh yeah. My water's bolted. I mean, it's like, you know, you're just like, it's going to break any minute now. Oh, my goodness. What's going on? Oh, and then you're like, the water did yeah. break. Ah! Come on now. Right. <laughs> yeah. Come on now. Come on. Yeah. Listen, oh, Sister Donna, that, I don't know your last name. I'm hearing the name Donna. And, and, and Donna, listen, the Lord is telling me, Sister Donna, that listen. The word that you are asking God for, God said, it's in your Ooh. mouth. God, God says, what you need is in you. Mm -hmm. You've been looking for, for it to come from our, and God said, I need you to start looking within. And I see also uh, business. I see you ready to step out into the business arena. Yes, God is, there's some ministry that God has for you, but I see you stepping out in business. I see um, administration. Ooh. There's some administration work that God is calling. And the Lord is telling me there are some finances that's been held up. And God is telling me to tell you, for your business, that money is released. I declare now that right now that everything that the enemy has stole from you financially God is telling me to tell you it's being restored now. And God says, listen, you don't need to continue to pray about it. You need to praise now. Hallelujah. You've been praying and praying and praying. And God says, shift the gear. Yeah. It's time to go into Thanksgiving. Yeah. It's time to go into worship. It's now. time to go into praise. 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 Listen, praise is the language of faith. That's right. Oh, yeah. Did you hear what I said? This is for Donna. Praise is the language of faith. When you start praising God, God sees you operating in faith. Oh, come on. And now. God says, your faith will not fail you if you don't fail in your faith. Okay. Hey, glory. Come on. Receive <laughs> that in Jesus' name. Yes, oh Hallelujah. Oh, God, I feel the Holy bless, Ghost. Bless. Come on. There it is. There's that anointing. Da, 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 come on. Da, receive da, 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 it. Da, 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 Hallelujah. Da, da, da. Glory. Yes. God, Somebody glory. mentioned a Mercedes Benz earlier that you saw a Mercedes Benz. I think it was mm. Kurt. I'm not sure now, but it was a man, and you typed in. You see a Mercedes Benz. I want to tell you, God told me when you typed that, this is what he told me. He says, the reason you're seeing a Mercedes Benz is because some of y'all have had your mind in the gutter, and I don't mean mind in the gutter like in a dirty way. I'm yeah. mind in the gutter like you're not, you're not seeing above uh, the ick. You know, you're thinking God's going to throw you the crumb. You're a son and a daughter. You're not a dog. Come on, somebody. He's got the Mercedes-Benz for you. Come on, somebody. He's got the Lamborghini for you. Come on, somebody. He's got Coach for you. He's got the nail. Yeah, he's, come on. He's got these expensive name brands for you. And I'm not necessarily all just talking about name brand items. I'm talking about somebody on here. You're seeing your ministry, and you're like, well, that's just too big. That's just too much. You know, I see. But I really right. think this mm. makes more practical sense. Don't yeah. you dare dumb your ministry down. Don't you dumb down that God has yeah. given to you. Don't dumb it down. God says even the vision that he gave you where it looks like it's so giant and enormous that you couldn't possibly do it without tens of hundreds of people helping you. God says this, and for somebody it's tens of thousands of people helping you. But God says this. Hear me on this. Yeah. It's bigger yes, and better Lord. than you could ever That's imagine. Lovely. It's bigger and better sure. than that. Don't dumb it down to where you think you can do it. Yeah. Keep it big and over the top, and then ask him, "Where do I put my next foot?" Because it's like you're in the middle of an ocean, yeah. standing on two or three rocks, and they only pop up as you follow and are led by Holy Spirit. You're out in the middle of nowhere, out in the ocean, but you know what's coming over the hill, over the horizon. It's the biggest, best thing you could ever imagine. Yeah, it's coming in yeah. August for some of you, in September and October for others. Here comes your blessing, but in order Amen. for the stones to rise to the 
the Ooh. surface and the water for you to get to the horizon. So My God. Me, it is being Holy Spirit led. Your way, God, and not mine. Your thoughts, God, and not mine. Your emotions, Jesus, and not mine. Yo, God of heaven and earth. Your yoke, Jesus, and not the devil. Whoa. Your friendship, Lord, and not that bad yeah. man that keeps trying to pull me down. Hmm. Jesus. <clears throat> My God. Hallelujah. Mm. Go ahead, baby. Hallelujah. There are there are some people. You see me? The, oh, there are some people that have been looking for their purpose. Mm. Hi. <laughs> They've been looking for their purpose. I want to let you know that your purpose has already been laid out. Mm. You don't even have to go look for your purpose. God says, live in purpose. On purpose daily. Amen. So don't worry about what's in the future. But just enjoy your process. That's the word of the Lord. Enjoy the process. In God's purpose for your life. And notice that I say it's not your purpose. It's God's purpose. Amen. Amen? <clears throat> there is a, a person on here. And you're in the music industry. Mm. You're, you, you're in the music industry. And there has been major attacks against that <clears throat> ministry. <clears throat> I declare now in the name of Jesus <clears throat> that right now the angels of God are now overshadowing you, protecting you yeah. in the name of Jesus. And the Come Lord stands, keep <clears throat> fighting the good fight of faith. Amen. In the name, I see <clears throat> some other doors opening up. And you've been, listen, thank you, Holy Ghost. You've been asking God for wisdom. The Bible says wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, in all you're getting, get understanding. Mm. Come on. Listen, when you ask God for wisdom, he don't just give you wisdom. He gives you understanding. And so listen, your music career is about to go through the roof. Woo! Yeah. Your, oh, hallelujah. Your music career is about to go to the I'm talking about contract. I'm talking about some supernatural things. And the Lord is telling me to tell you that, listen, after you get off this call, you need to take communion. Oh, you need to take communion. And the Lord is telling me to tell you to anoint your house. Yes. To anoint, re-anoint your house. Because God is going to begin to download. Get ready for a whole new download. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you right now. In the name of Jesus, I declare that that door that's been held shut in the name of Jesus, I speak now, and I declare that that door is been opened in the name of Jesus, and your music career will be blessed. The blessing of, of it, the blessing of the Lord is on your music ministry, the blessing of the Lord. The same blessing that God put on <laughs> Abraham, the same blessing he put on Abraham, <laughs> listen, it's on you now. And listen, you you got to receive it, though. Mm, that's right. See, the Bible says this, uh -huh. believe the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Mm -hmm. But if you believe his prophets, you'll uh -huh. prosper. Amen. No, I'm going to say it again. Believe the Lord your God, so shall you be established. But if you believe his prophets, you're going to prosper. Yeah. And I'm prophesying to you. You're about to go to another level of prosperity. Mm. Not just financially. You're about to prosper in some whole, a whole other level of faith. Mm. That is the word of the Lord for you yes, in Jesus' oh name. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Glory Jesus. to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Betty Harrison, you, Betty Harrison, you said you had a swollen leg. Are you still on here, honey? Well, wherever you are, whether you're still on here or, or you got off the feed, but we, I rebuke swelling in the name of Jesus. I speak to your leg, your knee. I command the inflammation to go down, that you're whole, you're healed. There's nothing wrong in your leg, that you can get up and walk without pain. You are pain-free, swelling-free, and you are walking in divine, perfect health, wholeness, and healing. That you are a sign and a wonder in this earth, and so are your family. So are your children, your family, and everyone in your whole household. And some of those, there's not even in your natural. 
It's people connecting to you. It's an overflow from you to them. Yes, God. Oh! Ah, woo! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Lisa Ray. Lisa Ray, I just seen your name. Uh, Lisa Ray, listen. There, listen. You have a, an anointing to release the love of God. Oh, the love of God. I'm telling you that, listen, I see you ministering to people and people just weeping. There was anointing for the love of God. As you embrace people, they're going to feel the love of God. There is anointing in the love of God, and God has given you a whole nother level of the love of God. You're going to, yeah. God is telling me to tell you that as you go in the word of God, he's going to begin to give you further insight on his love, greater revelation on his love. Be why? Because listen, the reason, I want everyone to hear this. The reason why you can love God is because you have a revelation of how much he loves you. That's right. Mm. Did you hear what I said? When you get a revelation, of how much he loved you, the love of God will flow through your life. The Bible says the love of God is shed abroad in your heart by the Holy Ghost. The love of God, people, the love of God is shed abroad in your heart by the Holy Spirit. And so I'm telling you, Lisa Ray, God's love is permeating your heart and there have been some wounds that you have experienced and the lord said he's healing every emotional wound in jesus name in the name of jesus yes. i cover you in the mantle of god's love yes, in god. jesus name hmm. hallelujah glory hallelujah. to god hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Tiffany Inman. Yeah, oh, that was, glory, and that was Tiffany Alexander, Ooh. I believe. Tiffany. Uh, yeah, Tiffany Alexander. You said you wanted um, clients in your business or whatnot. Well, I decree and declare right now, as you pursue the Lord, you get more yeah, and Lord. more clients. As you pursue God, favor is slathered yeah. on you. Contracts yeah. come. We decree and declare products and ingenious ideas yes. come in the name of Jesus. We also say divine connections, yeah. people, partners in different situations such yeah. to come to you for that business to expand. But mm -hmm. as it expands, it is not even expanding too fast for you because God is putting it in you. God is giving you the capability. You're seeing it before it happens. And as it comes together, you're able to run with it. It's not running away from you or to another Thank person you. or through another person. But yeah, still yeah. got the reins through Jesus. Oh, it's going to take off fast, honey. I see fast acceleration yeah. with that business in the name of Jesus. My God. Mm. Yeah, Hit yeah. <clears throat> listen, <clears throat> there are some people, there are some people that, listen, I, I want you to really hear me. God is meant to deliver you from your job and take you into your business. Mm. So, listen. He's about to deliver you from your job because the nine to five ain't what God said. There's business in you now. And God says the rivers are about to start flowing in you. Those business ideals, they're about to come up out of your spirit. They're about to come out of your mouth. God is about to bring them up. They've been dormant. They've been dormant. And God says now he's, he's putting his hands on you. And I'm telling you, as you sleep, mm. I, business ideals are going to come to you. I'm telling you, yes. there's two people specifically on here. God is calling you in the, in, for real estate. Okay, oh, God is going to actually give you property. Yes. Mm. And this is over, listen, over the next three to five years. There are two people on here in the next three to five years. Mark my words, I do not lie, that you're going to be... Oh. A, a business owner, major money is coming for your business. And the Lord says the finances to get started is supernatural. Oh, yeah. It's supernatural in Jesus' name. Receive it in the name yeah. of Jesus. Mm. Receive business ideals. 
I'm telling you the language mm -hmm. of the spirit. Mm -hmm. God is taking you now into yeah. that realm yeah. where you're going to see yeah. mm -hmm. everything that God has already established mm -hmm. in regard to business. Mm -hmm. That's the Woo! word of the Lord. Yeah. There's two people on here. I don't know, know what you've been designed, but you've been working a job for too long. And God says, now, I've been trying to get you in business. I've been trying to get you to step into your yeah. business. And the Lord said, the time is now. It's time to step into it. Oh, hallelujah. Glory, come on. I need it. I need you to receive, people. Don't be, again, back to what I said. You can't be a spectator. You got to be a participator. Yeah. Some of you need to get up and run around your house right Come now. Come on now. <laughs> you need to run around the building and yeah. you need to shout. <laughs> Don't worry about your neighbor. You better give God some praise. Oh. Hey, ha, ha. Oh, glory. Hey, glory. Oh. Listen, as you praise him, God's going to bring your business. He just, he's going to put it oh. in your hand. Amen. In Jesus' name, receive it. Yes. It belongs to you. It belongs to you. You have rights in the kingdom of God. That's right. Come on. Oh, don't miss that. You have rights in the kingdom of God. The devil been telling you, the devil been telling you, no, it's not going to happen. But I declare that devil is a liar. That devil is a liar. Yes, and the is. truth is not in him. That's right. Mm. But listen. It, listen, it's not going to manifest because I said it. It's going to manifest when you say it. Come on now. Hey, glory. Come on. I'm going to say it again. It's not going to manifest because I said it. It's going to manifest when say you it. say it. Ooh. It's going to manifest not many Do days it. from now. Amen. Hey, glory. I'm Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People walking out of the Thank we're you. walking out of, we walked out of what was a seven skinny cow amount of years. And I don't mean seven literal years. For some of you, it was seven years exactly. But for others, you might have been in a skinny cow years, like the Bible talks about, the poverty years, the drought years, uh, the, you know, absolute famine years. And it might have been for decades, but you walked into, stepped into the seven fat cow years. Come on. And it's not seven fat cow years. Seven is spiritual perfection. God says if we as the body of Christ will come, come together, it'll be way longer than seven years. It could be decades. Come on, it could be longer than that. You know, if we can just pull ourselves together and find common ground and be unified, come on now, you're in your seven fat cow yeah. years in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We yeah. agree. We yeah. agree. Come on, Prophet Kathy. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Come, Come on. on. Come on. Come on. I, amen. I agree. Come on. I agree. I agree. Hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for all those who are um, suffering in their bodies. We just declare and we decree healing in your bodies because the Lord says that by his stripes you are already healed so it was already done we just have to receive it amen so I, wherever you're hurting in your body i want you to put your hand there it says that when we lay hands on the sick we'll see them recover and it say whose hand it could be your hand you got a hand you can lay the hand amen so hey, i want you on. to lay your hand on that body part that's giving you trouble and i want you to speak to your body part and in the name of Jesus, Father, we come into agreement, Lord God, with our sister and our brother who may be having some ailments in their bodies. We declare and we decree over their bodies right now that they are healed. Lord God, we don't have to go there, but Lord God, we can send the word. And so we send the word, Lord God, right now through their hands. You said, Lord God, we are to lay hands on the sick and see them recover. So we declare and decree that they are recovering all in the name of Jesus in their body. Yeah. And we declare in the name of Jesus against all uh, uh, premature deaths in the name of Jesus. You will not have them, and you will, you will take your hands off of them right now in the name of Jesus. And we declare and decree, Lord God, them healed right now. You got to say it. Ah, the righteous do not say that they're sick. So that cannot come out your mouth anymore. God has done it. 
So we pray, Lord God, against anything that is not of you in their body. You did not make them that way. So we declare and decree, Lord God, according to your word, that they are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Mm, thank you, Lord. Listen, people of God, one of the responsibilities of the Holy Spirit, mm. don't miss this, is to show you things to oh. come. Mm. Don't miss this. That's one of the responsibilities of the Holy Spirit is to show you things to come. Yes, God. God is going to You're show right, many right. of you on here what's yes. coming to you, what's Woo! for you. Thank you I'm Lord. talking about dreams, visions, yeah. and perception. Mm. Dreams, mm. visions, and perception. <laughs> oh, yeah, hallelujah. Listen. Listen, yes, Lord. some of you on here, you're about to walk into your Joseph anointing. Oh, oh come on. You're about to step into your Joseph anointing. The enemy's been trying to kill the dream on the inside of you. Your brothers, your family members been trying to kill some dreams on the inside of you. But I declare now, in the name of Jesus, God is about to take you to the palace now. Okay. You've been in prison too long. Yes. And God said now, he's about to bring you to palace for house. He's about yes. to elevate you. Whew, thank you, Lord. I see some promotion. Promotion. Mm. Promotion. Mm. Hear the word of the Lord. Promotion. Promotion, yes. Promotion in the realm mm. of where you have knowledge. Mm. Realm of where you have information yes. on what what the word said. Yes. Mm. God is about to you about Come to on. open up the word and guess what? Stuff about to jump out. Revelation knowledge is about to come forth. Yes, God. Oh, I'm telling you, people, this is your finest hour. Yes. This is your finest moment yes. that God has for you right now. Yes, God. There's some mm. things now. Thank you, Lord God. There's a person. There's some things you've been struggling with. Yeah. And the Lord says, yeah, bye, 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 listen, bye, bye, bye. he's giving you the strength to cast them off. Mm. The struggle, mm. the struggle. I Thank declare Lord. now that issue yes, Lord. that you've been dealing with, that you've been struggling with, I command it to fall off for you now in mm. the name of Jesus. I declare yeah, bye, that you have the grace and the strength to cast off every weight, yes, yes, every yes. weight yes. of sin. That so easy besets you. Yes, great grace. I declare yes. deliverance yes. right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. I'm telling you, I feel that anointing yes. right now yes. in the name of Jesus. I speak the anointing yes. on your life. It's bringing yes. deliverance. Yes. There are some people Touch being that. delivered from some mm. struggles. I'm yes, talking Lord. about some things. You know what they are. I don't need to right. say what they are. You know what they are. But the Lord says now, mm. Mm. It, listen, it's not mm. being mm. broken. Mm. It's being destroyed. Mm. Ah. See, listen, the mm. anointing doesn't just break the yoke. It, it destroys, destroys the it. Yoke. Mm. The anointing is destroying the yoke. Come on. Yes. You are being liberated. Why? So you can worship. Mm. Listen, listen. Your worship has been restricted. Mm. Oh, ah. don't miss that. Some people are here. Your worship has been restricted. But God says now that he's taking, he's removing ah. that yoke. Your worship will no longer be restricted. Yes. Oh, my Sister Karen, thank you. I hear the name Karen. Your worship will no longer be restricted. Yes. In the name of Jesus. I mm -hmm. speak that to you now in Jesus' name. Receive it oh. in Jesus' name. Oh. Hey, glory to God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I got 10 more minutes and then I got to go okay. preach somewhere else. Violet. Hallelujah. Uh, glory to God. Father, in the name of uh, Jesus. Uh, yes. Uh, go ahead, I woman of God. You, honey, and I saw you. It's, this has to do with your children, your family. I saw you walking on serpents. You asked, what about you? You know, what are you doing? And I, God keeps showing me. He keeps showing me you walking on serpents. He keeps showing me you crushing and cracking their heads open, just cracking them wide open. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep being faithful in the measure that you're being faithful and pump up that word and speak it out of your mouth, out of your mouth. Go ahead, Prophet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. 
Listen, God is putting, I want to declare this over every person under the sound of my voice. God is adding grace to your gift. God is adding grace to your gift. See, listen, one of the responsibilities of the fivefold pastors, the apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, teacher, listen, is to quit the saints to do the work of ministry. Come it's on, time it for down. you now. It's time for the grace in you to be recognized. Yes. It's time for the grace. God is putting grace on Come your on. gift. Hmm. The grace of God. And what is the grace of God? The grace of God is not all. The grace of God is the enabling power of God. In other words, what you cannot do, the grace of God will do. The yes. Bible declares, Paul said this. I am what I am Ooh, by the what? Grace. grace of God. You are. The grace of God is about to unveil you. Yes. You some of y'all on here, God is about to unveil you. The world of people about people in your church is about to see a Come new on. you. Yes. You about to rise up. I'm oh, telling bye, you, bye, bye, bye. God is about to unveil you to some people who can't stand you. <laughs> I'm just telling the truth. Amen. Your haters are about to be congratulators. <laughs> 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 Hallelujah. <laughs> That's the word of God. Amen. Get ready. Get ready to be celebrated and not just tolerated. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Oh, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Ah, yeah, Pastor. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Sister Tracy. Sister Tracy, let me say this to you. You're significant. Mm, yes. Tracy, you've been doubting yourself. But the Lord says now, God wants you now to see yourself the way God sees you. God wants you to see yourself the way God sees you. There's a woman on here. Your name is Tracy. And God is telling me to tell you, See yourself the way he sees you. Get in the mirror. Get Come in on. the mirror. Just like you look into a physical mirror to see your image, God says this is your mirror. Yeah. See what you look like. Oh. Don't let the devil tell you what you look like. You get in the word and tell yourself what you look like. I'm more than a conqueror. I'm the head and not the tail. I'm Come above on. and not beneath. I'm a lender, not a borrower. You got to begin to declare it over your life because as you declare it, as you de decree it, it's going to manifest exactly as you declare it in That's Jesus' right. name. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Speak the word only. Speak the word only. And you're going to see everything that God has purposed in your life. The God who was, is, come and on. is to come. He's about to show himself. God is about to take some of you. Oh, Matthew chapter 17. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The Bible says God took Peter, James, and John up to a high mountain, and he was transfigured before them. Listen, when you behold his transfiguration, that's going to be your transformation. Amen. I'm going to say it again. When you behold his transfiguration, that's going to be your transformation. Supernatural change is coming to some of y'all right now in Jesus' yes. name. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 And, uh, Glory to uh, God. Prophet, uh, Pastor Wardell, I see you on here. If you're still on here. Um, otherwise, I know you personally, so I can uh, ask you to watch near the end of this video. Uh, but at any rate, what I see for you is I still keep seeing, and I've seen it. I've seen this all year long. I keep seeing you with your own business, whatever that means. I still keep seeing you with your own business, a business owner, whatever that means, whatever that is, however it manifests. I keep seeing it on you so strongly, so strongly, so strongly. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Well, Prophet David, do you need to go? Listen. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I, I got to go in a couple of minutes because I got to okay. go preach. But listen, let me give you this word real quick. Let me give you a word. This is for every person on this phone, everybody on this live stream. The Lord told me the restoration of vision for vision. 
Matthew chapter 20, verse 29. I need you to go there real quick. Matthew chapter 20, verse 29. Give me a minute, because I got I, I got I gotta let you read this. Because this is about to happen for you. The Bible says this. And as they departed from Jericho, a great multitude followed him. And behold, two blind men sitting by the wayside. When they heard that Jesus was passing by, cried out. Don't miss that. He, they cried out, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, you son of David. And the multitude rebuked him because they and told them to hold their peace. But they cried out all the more. Oh, don't miss that. They cried out all the more, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, son of David. And Jesus stood still. Don't miss that. And Jesus stood still. In other words, there was something that was said that got God's Woo! attention. God is telling me to tell you, your faith has got his Come attention. On. Your faith has got his attention. Now look what the scripture says. And Jesus said, what will you that I should do for you? What is it that I, I do for you? What do you want me to do for you? Look what the scripture says. They said, Lord, that our eyes, oh, may be open, that our eyes may be open. So Jesus, so Jesus had compassion on them and touched their eyes, and immediately their eyes received their sight. Listen, God now wants you. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. God says, now, you have to now start seeing through the eyes of faith. You, oh, you have to now see through the eyes of Come faith. On. In other words, your faith is going to show you some things. Your faith is going to communicate to you. Your faith now is what has to communicate. Not just your words now. Your faith has to communicate. Your faith, you got to communicate with your faith now. And when you communicate with your faith, then guess what? Your faith is going to open up some doors for you. It's going to open up your eyes to see some things. You're about to see some things that you've never seen before in your life as you begin to speak, as you begin to speak Woo! in faith. The Bible says, faith, listen, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Let me break that down. Let me give you some revelation. Faith comes by hearing which means faith gives you the ability to, to hear. And hearing, the ability to hear, comes by God's word. Share this video. So the more, the more you speak the word of God, the written word, the more you're going to get a revelation of the living word. Did you hear what I said? The more you get a revelation of the written word, the more you're going to hear from the living word. God is about to show up for some of you right now, and God is about to open your eyes so you can now see everything that he died, buried, and rose again to give you in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. But we just thank you right now, Prophet David and Prophetess Kathy. I just thank you both right now for being on here, being special guests this evening. I'm going to um, leave a comment. I'll probably put it on my page. Um, that way people can bless. They'll know how. Um, I'll get with you in the messenger and ask you, um, let me know. And that way I can give them a link in a way that they can bless. And um, I appreciate y'all. Let me, let, me, let me share that. Let me share that real I, quick. I you can actually go to our website. That. You can't do huh? it on the live feed if we share it. Does that make sense? I can okay. do it, but it has to be okay. done in a certain way. <laughs> okay, okay, woman of God. that makes sense, you can list your website. And tell me yeah. your website. Yeah, okay. you have a website. Okay. okay, I'll do that. Yes, you can share the website right now. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. Let me, let, me, let me pray for the people before I leave, though. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for every person that has received your word today, that has received that which you have done. And, Lord, I declare now in the name of Jesus that, God, 
that you are getting the glory out of their lives. I thank you for the supernatural presence of God, the supernatural power of God, the word of God in the name of Jesus. I declare now that God is causing you to step into the fullness of everything that he promised you in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, that you are touching, you are healing, you are delivering, you are doing miracles in the lives of your people. I bless you now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. In Jesus' Hallelujah. name, you guys. Woman of God, I want to thank you personally for allowing me the opportunity to connect. I am so grateful. I am so blessed. Listen, I really enjoyed the ministry that God has, has given you. I am blessed every time you're on, and I'm just so excited because, listen, this is a covenant thing. And I want to encourage everyone, listen, I want you, before everyone leave, I want you to go and take communion. Every person, I need you to take communion. The Holy Spirit told me to have everybody at the end of this um, library to take communion because God is going to seal some stuff in your life. There are some things that's going to be sealed as you take communion. So I'm going to take my communion, woman of God, and I'm believing for some Amen. great things to manifest. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for being on here this evening. Um, we love y'all. We bless you. I see, um, wow, I see a new crown descending on your head. Woo! Yes, Lord. Oh, my. Yes. I receive it. And, you know, you and your wife, y'all are power it. couples that are in the earth that the Bible talks about right now, that the even, you know, the prophets have been speaking about the power couples that are rising up for God's glory that are, I, I, as odd as this may sound, I see you and your wife racing through the earth trains. Yeah. I feel like you're on trains already. But I see you racing through the earth like all over the face of the globe in these trains, connecting with other people mm. in ministries, just yeah. zooming for the glory of God. It's so fast. It's so speedy. It's so powerful. It is just powerful. Yeah. Flaming fire. And it's not just fieriness of God, but the flame has lightning in it. I'm just electricity. Mm. Light. I mean, dang, that fire's good. Wow. It's dangerous to the enemy. It's dangerous. Yes. <laughs> Praise yes. God. Yes. Listen, woman of God, listen. I, I, I hear this too. This is for somebody. I don't know who this is, but there's a, a couple on here, um, a woman on here. You're, you're dealing with some stuff in your marriage, Ooh. and it has to do with your communication. There, there's a barrier between the communication and I see the Holy Spirit visiting your husband. The, the Lord is telling me he's going to restore your communication in your marriage. There is a restoration for your marriage. Whoever this is for, this is for a specific person. And you've been dealing with this for three straight Ooh. years. This is specific number that the Lord has given me. You've been dealing with this thing for three years in your marriage. And the Lord says he's stepping into your marriage now, and he's going to restore your communication back for one Amen. another. You guys, you're going to be able to communicate again. You're going to be able to communicate again. That's what I hear the Lord saying. There is a restoration of marriages. There's some people are going through in relationships. And thank you, Lord. Yes, I'll say that too, Holy Ghost. There are some people that God is going to uh, disconnect you from some other relationships. Some people that ain't supposed to be in your life. God is severing some relationships. Uh -huh. And God is bringing some people that's supposed to be in your life that's going to build you up, not tear you down. Some of you, you've been torn down, and God says he's building you back that's up. Right. I decree in the name of Jesus that God is restoring you in the name of Jesus. I prophesy healing in your relationship, healing Amen. in your marriage. Amen. 
in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name, amen. Got to go, people of God. I love you. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for inviting me on. I really appreciate it. Welcome. Of God. Thank See, you y'all are much. one. Thank you, people. Y'all are a couple. Y'all are one. Yeah. I spoke with you that day. I was like, I just really felt like the Lord said that you were going to be here too. And I know Prophet David was like, well, you know, I'll let her pray on that or whatever. And I said, okay. I mean, this is the time of the couples. You know, I do see sometimes couples yeah, where, yeah. you know, one is more dominant in, in doing things and the other one just likes to be in the background. But with regards to y'all, your wife has your back. She can pray a day. Oh, absolutely. Down. She can pray it down. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing on you. Amen. To God be the glory. Yeah. <laughs> you know what the Lord showed me? See, what marriage is, marriage is a mirror of the relationship between Christ and the church. Right. And me and my wife, we've been That's married image. for 12 years. Whoa, wow. Yes. 12 foundations. 12. Government. government. That's right. That's right. And I'm telling you, God is restoring some images. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. I'm telling you, God is restoring relationship, power Amen. couple. Yes. Over the next two to three years, you're going to see some of the greatest power couples That's rise right. up. Yes. Yes. I got one more thing and then I'm done. There's a, there's a, there's a, <laughs> A lady on here, and you have a son that's in prison. Mm. And the Lord says that he was locked up unjustly. Mm. And the Lord is telling me to tell you that God is moving in that situation. And for you not to worry about it. Don't worry about it. Listen, God says, don't worry, worship. That's right. You can't do both. You either going to worship or you're going to oh. worry. Oh, Your son is okay. Amen. God has his God has his hand on him. Ooh, yes. And God says, while he's in there, he's gonna be doing ministry. God's gonna be dealing with him. Hey, glory. God is gonna use him in there. Like I said, God's gonna use him as a Joseph. Yes, God. And I see God bringing him out. God is gonna bring your son out. We agree, God. Mama, I'm telling you, God is gonna bring your son out. Amen. Hear the word of the Lord. God is bringing your son out. Yes. So be be encouraged. Amen. Don't don't stop believing. Don't That's stop right. believing. That's right. Don't stop. You've been dealing with worry, but God is telling me to tell you He's giving you peace now. The Bible declares, "My peace I give unto you, not as the world give give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, Ooh. neither let it be afraid." Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> God bless you. you. I got to go, people of God. Bye, y'all. God bless. Hey, we got to do this yes. again. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Amen. I guess you just sort of click an X or something, because I'm going to continue talking about that, uh, the going to Texas for me. There you go. Um, so, you guys, don't forget, I am going to Texas uh, the end of this next week. And Prophet Daniel Pontius and... Um, Two other awesome people, and I believe he was on the live stream with one of them tonight, um, his live stream that he did. So, you guys, this is so awesome. I get to meet new people, awesome people, and I get to meet a lot of y'all. Any of y'all, I, I mean, several of y'all are actually flying out there. I think that's crazy and amazing. So, drive out there, fly out there. I want to see you guys. Or you can come visit me here at the prayer house, you know. Um, so, that's Saturdays at 7. We meet here. Private message for the address if you want to come. Um, sometimes I have people drive five or eight hours to get here, but most of the time people, you know, um, you know, drive to anywhere between one hour and, say, five hours. You know, that's about the average range. But you guys, I love y'all, and I'm going to jump off here, and um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.